With hippos being classified as vulnerable animal species, the research is being carried out to determine the hippo population in Kenyan lakes. The exercise was carried out at Lake Nakuru National Park after the increasing water levels in the lake affected the lake's salinity, causing it to exhibit some features of a freshwater lake and therefore attracting hippos. Dr. Judith Nyunja, the principal research scientist at Kenya Wildlife Research Institute, says the research will go a long way in dealing with wildlife human conflicts that have been rampant across the country. And another reason why we, we find it important to monitor the hippos is because of increased potential human wildlife conflicts because of high numbers of hippos in the, in, in the water bodies. So fortunately for Lake Nakuru National Park, it is a protected area and therefore we expect a very limited human wildlife conflict in this area. But there's potential for this kind of conflicts if we look at other lake ecosystems. For example, recently we also did a, a census of the hippos in Lake Naivasha and we, find, we found quite a large population of the hippos and there's already recorded information about the high numbers of human wildlife conflicts related to hippo population. The research involves a hippo sensor that brought on board two teams of researchers and scientists heading out in different directions on motorboats in search of the mammals. It involved scanning the shores with binoculars to get a clear count of all visible hippo heads. The hippo is a vulnerable species uh, listed in the IUCN uh, red list. And it is important for us as research scientists to establish the population of this critical uh, species and to just have a baseline of, of this species so that we are able to monitor over time whether the population is increasing or is, is decreasing. According to senior researcher Joseph Edebe, these ground surveys were more clinical as compared to aerial surveys that had been done in earlier years, reporting that Lake Nakuru was recording more than 35 hippos, an indication the numbers were on the increase, bearing in mind such numbers could not be recorded when the lake was purely salty. The estimate we got was about 35 but we haven't, we need to clean the data. We need to analyze it more and uh, get whether we have counted twice or not. So we need to clean the data. We have also taken samples of water. We want to look at the phytoplankton and zooplankton and nutrients in the water. So we want to understand what are the relationships. More have been, we have seen more than what we recorded before, but because we used a different method. We have not said we have seen all the hippos, but what we have seen is more than we would have seen if we were flying from the air. This exercise will help us to know the population of the hippos in this lake. The, the areas, they are well distributed. The increase in the number of hippos in Lake Nakuru is welcome, especially due to the fact that a decline in hippo population has been recorded in a majority of the 38 African countries where they are found as they are being threatened by poaching, habitat loss and the effects of global heating.